Team Jeopardy. I'm your host, Errol, and today our contestants are Sophie and Michelle. Let's get started. Welcome, contestants. And our first category is Derivative Rules 100. Whoever gets us right gets to pick our next cat gets to pick our next category. Um, so Derivative Rules 100. The product rule is use when more than one function is blank. Michelle. What is multiplied times three? What is multiplied is correct. What would you like our next category to be, Derivative Michelle? Rules for 200. Derivative rules for 200. This chant is used to remember the quotient rule. What is low d high minus high d low all over low low? <laughs> what is low d high minus high d low over ho ho is correct. <laughs> what is our next category? Um, derivative rules for 300. Derivative rules 300. The derivative of cosecant u is? Michelle. What is negative cosecant u cotangent u du dx? What is negative cosecant u cotangent u du dx is correct. What is our next category? Derivative rules for 400. Derivative rules 400. If a is a constant, the derivative of a to the u is? A to, uh, what is a to the u times natural log of a times du dx? Also correct, we are on the roll. So far the type, what is our next category, Sophie? Linear approximation is Euler's method for 100. This category asks, Euler's method is used to do what? Contestants, does anyone know the answer? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call it time on this one. The correct answer is to approximate a numerical solution to a differential equation at a given point. <laughs> Moving on to the next category, let's go right to the next one for linear approximation and Euler's method 200. This makes Euler's method more accurate than one linear approximation. What is multiple tangent lines with different <laughs> starting points? Good, that puts you uh, one point ahead of Michelle, but still neck to neck. Let's go to what category? Um, linear approximation of Euler's method for 300. This section asks, and Euler approximation will be an overestimate when the curve is? What is concave down? Correct, now we're going to tie again. Let's go to linear approximation of Euler's method for 400. Oh boy, it's easy. Uh, let y equal to function of x be the solution to the differential equation dy dx equals y plus xy with the initial condition f of 0 equals 1. What is the best approximation for f of 2 if Euler's method is used starting at x equals 0 with a step size of 1? Dun dun dun! Second derivative is 200. If a function's derivative at x uh, 
comma y is equal to zero, and the function second derivative is positive, then x comma y is this type of string point, but is a minimum. Good job, Sophie. Uh, should we move on to second derivative string again? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. If our function derivative at x comma y is equal to two, and the function second derivative is negative, then x comma y is this type of string point, but is neither a max or a min. Good job. That one is tricky. Now. What should our next category be? Second derivative square hundred. All oh, right. So it's the function of f equals e to the power of tan x. Find the second derivative of x. What is secant squared x e to the tan x times 2 tangent x plus secant squared x? <laughs> Great job, that one is a doozy. Now let's move on to our last and final category. Should we go for 100? Yeah. Start off easy? Okay. So implicit differentiation 100. When differentiating with respect to x, the derivative of y is this. What is the idea? Good job. Uh, would you like to pick, pick our next category? Yes, 200. 200. What, uh, use implicit differentiation when you cannot do this. What is isolate y? What is isolate y is correct. Should we go for 300 on that one? Yeah. y is a function of x, so this rule must be used to differentiate y. What is the chain rule? Good job, Michelle. You, that puts you one point ahead of Sophie, and, but we are still a close game. Our last and final question is, if y squared minus 2x squared times y equals 8, then dy dx is... What is 2xy over y minus x squared? Good job, and that is the end of BC Jeopardy. However, we are in a tie, so let us go to our final Jeopardy question. Ooh. Welcome back to BC Jeopardy, and our final Jeopardy question is... Contestants, on your mark, ready, set, go!